Hello guys, so for the first part of this video series, we built an album search app using the Next 13 app router. We touched on server actions, server and client side data fetching, and loading UI. So if you haven't watched it, please feel free to go through it. So for this video, we are going to improve our search UI by using more of Next 13 features. Let's get right into it. For our album list, we want to add a feature where we can view a single album details in its own page. We want to be able to fetch its tracks and artists and display them all on the album page. Let's create the album details page by creating the file at album id page jsx file. If you are familiar with dynamic routes, this should look familiar. The folder with id in brackets is treated as a dynamic path, with the id being the parameter. You'll see how it works in a short while. Let's create the album page component. To get the dynamic ID parameter for the page, we use the params prop. The next step is getting a single album from the API. So we await the album function and pass it the ID param. Remember to convert the function to an async function by adding a wait keyword to it. Let's implement the search album function. So we'll fetch the API album ID route, convert the response to the JSON and return it. Finally, we return the JSX that will render the single album. I've reused the same code we used to render multiple albums for the search page. With the single album page done, let's go ahead and create the API root handler for getting a single album. Root handlers also support dynamic routes. So for our case, we can create an API album ID root.js file with the ID being the dynamic parameter. Let's import our albums to the JSON data. We are going to return the album in a GET request, so let's export a GET function. Apart from the request argument, this function accepts an extra argument that has a params key. This will have the ID parameter for the root. To get the album, we can use the ArrayFind method to search through the album's array. This will return a single album. If we don't find it, root handler supports returning a native response function where you can set the 404 HTTP status code and album not found status text. Otherwise, we return the album via next response the JSON function call. With the search done, our next task is linking to the new album page. So on the album search results view, let's wrap the album name in a link tag and set the href to the individual album page. Let's test this new functionality. If we click on an album name, we'll be successfully redirected to the single album page. Apart from the new album page, something looks interesting here. The search form is rendered here, even though we didn't include it in the new album page. Remember when we added the search form to the layout.jsx page? This ensured that the form is visible on all pages that use that layout. This is the root layout, so all pages will be rendered by this layout not just the root page. The layouts are even more useful than this. Let's say we want to display the artist and album tracks next to the album. We can include them as different pages in one layout using parallel routes. To define parallel routes, we use what Next.js calls named slots, which are defined by preceding the folder name with the art symbol. So for the artist page, we create at artist page.jsx file. And for the tracks, we create a tracks page.jsx file. For a start, for the artist page, we can return a component with the text artist page. We can also do the same for the tracks page and return the text tracks page. To include these pages next to our album page, we need to create a layout.jsx file next to the album page.jsx file. Let's export a default component from this layout called album layout. Apart from the children prop, Next.js will automatically pass the named slots as props to our album layout file, so we can access tracks and artist components. The children prop represents the individual album page we created earlier, so we can render the album page, the artist page, and the track page next to it. If we visit the page, we can see the artist and tracks pages rendered next to our album page. You may be asking yourself, why render these two components using parallel routes instead of just importing them directly into the album details component? 
Separating all our three components into their own pages makes it possible for Next.js to render them independent of each other so they get their own loading and error states as they are being streamed. We are going to see this in action shortly as we implement the artists and tracks pages. Let's start with the artist page. Just like the album page, we can access the album ID parameter from the params component pro. To get the artist, we call the get album artist function. Let's implement the function. So we are going to call the API album ID artist root handler to get the data. Finally, we can render the single artist view. Let's create this new artist API root by creating an artist root DDS file next to the album root DDS file. For the implementation, we import the album's JSON data and the artist's JSON data. You're going to find the artist whose ID is in the album.artist field. Finally, we return the JSON response. As a bonus feature, let's implement loading components for both the album and artist pages. So for the artist, let's create a loading.jsx file next to the page.jsx file. We can then export a default function that renders the artist loading skeleton. So if we click an album, the loader will be displayed while the data is being fetched. Let's do the same for the single album view. So we create a loading.jsx file next to the album page.jsx file and also export a default function that renders the album loading skeleton. So clicking on an album shows a loader for both the album view and the artist view. Something weird is happening here though. While the loaders are showing properly for both pages, there's an extra album loader being displayed a few moments before the actual page loaders are shown. This is because the album loading to JSX page is at the root of the page next to the layout to JSX file. So the album, artist, and tracks pages are child components of this layout. And if they are loading data, Next.js displays the loader next to the layout. To solve this, we can move the album page into its own parallel route by creating an at album page to JSX file. This is going to be the new album page. So for the previous album page, let's remove everything and just return an empty component. We have to do it this way because if we delete the page completely, Next.js will complain that there is a missing page component for this route. We can then paste the album page implementation to the new parallel route and then finally move the loading file to the new album route. And just before we forget, the album component is now passed as a prop to the layout, so we need to get it and add it next to other components. So if we go back to the search results page and click on an album, the loaders will be properly displayed where the data for the individual pages is being loaded. Our album page is not complete yet. We still need to implement the tracks page. Let's first start by creating the root handler at API album ID tracks root DDS file. In the file, let's import the tracks JSON file and then export a get method. We are going to use the album ID parameter to filter the tracks and return those whose album ID value is the same as params.id. And finally, return the JSON via next response.json. Let's use this route to fetch data on the tracks page. So we call the getAlbumTracks function with the ID parameter and then implement the function to make the fetch call. We can then finally render the track list. Let's also create a loading file for the tracks page by adding a loading.jsx file for it and then export a component that imports the loading skeleton there. Our tracks page is now done. If we click on an album, we can see each of the three pages load its data independently and render after the data is loaded. Let's get a bit more ambitious with a new feature. We want to display this album details page, but not leave the album list view. Think showing this in a model window, but still maintain the URL structure and data fetching logic and loading screen. Next 13 has a perfect feature for our use case called intercepting routes. Intercepting routes allow you to load another page without having to leave your current page. Using them together with parallel routes makes a pretty powerful combination. So let's create an add model parallel route and inside it create the route. Intercepting routes follow a different naming convention than a page route. The folder names are preceded with dots and closed in a parenthesis. These dots work like relative file system path navigation. For example, a single dot represents the current root segment. 
two dots represent a segment one level above the current root, and three dots represent the root segment, which is the up directory. So if you want to intercept the album root, we'll use a single dot followed by album. Notice that the album folder is two file system levels above the current folder, but you're not using two dots. This is because parallel routes or folders that start with art are considered as slots and not segments, so they are ignored. So the album root is now only one segment above the intercepting root. An intercepting root has to match exactly with the root it's intercepting. So we can proceed to create the ID page.jsx file. So next.js will render at model.album ID page.jsx file instead of album ID page.jsx file. We can export a default component that renders a model component with some placeholder text. Another important thing to consider is you need to create a default JSX file next to the page JSX file for this to work. The root is not always going to be rendered on the screen, only when the album link is clicked. So Next.js needs a fallback component to render in case it's not found. We can export an empty component for this so that it renders nothing at first. Also, since our model component lives in at model parallel root, is going to be passed into the layout component as a prop. So we need to get it and add it next to the children. Let's go ahead and test this. So if you click on an album name, the model will be rendered instead of the album details page. Also note that even though we don't leave the page, the URL has been changed to reflect the album details URL. This is such an important part of this feature because this is not how models normally work. They lose state if the page is refreshed. But for our case, since the state is stored in the URL, refreshing the page still shows the album details components, just without the model this time. This is perfect for having shareable links to your site. You want someone to load the same exact view you have if you send them the URL. Instagram is probably the largest website that has this exact feature. If you click on an image, a model is opened with the image details and comments. This allows you to close and view as many photos as you want without leaving the page. And if you refresh the page, you still view the same image but on its own page instead of as a model. So let's go ahead and finish implementing this model view. Since you are replicating the album details but in a model container, we can copy all files in the album root into the model root. So we can remove the page.jsx file you created and use the page.jsx file we've just copied over. We can then wrap the album layout page with the model component. If we go back to a page and click an album link, the album details page will now be loaded in the model. The loading skeletons are also displayed as the pages load. And if you refresh the page, the album details view will still be displayed as a standalone page instead of being in a model. As a bonus feature, let's make the album model closable so that if a user clicks the close button, we go back to the album details page, just like Instagram does. So in our model component, let's get the router from use router hook first. Remember to import the hook from next navigation instead of next router. We can then add an on-click event listener to the close button and call router.bug function. This takes you back to the previous page. Also, remember to add use client at the top of the file to make this a client component. So if you go back to the albums page, click an album and then click the close button, the model will be dismissed. So you can browse as many albums as you want without having to leave the page. And that's it. I think we can end here for now. We have gone through a lot of features that are mostly game changers for Next.js developers. I hope you learned something in the video and this makes you more comfortable to try out the app folder. If you need me to cover any more features, please feel free to suggest them in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.